Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. What we got planned for tomorrow is I'm gonna take two highs over at a friend's lodge. He has a lot of orchards over there. And we're gonna take two very strong eight frames. This one right here, if you remember, was the super package that we installed. There's a lot, a lot of bees in this thing right here. I'm gonna put a super on it immediately as soon as I get it over there to start collecting honey. Uh, it, it's gonna give us a great opportunity to get the bees into a nice big giant orchard. And there's a lot of stuff over there, more than probably 20 or 30 hives could take care of. And uh, this is one of them right here, but just to get start, we're gonna take uh, two over tomorrow, just two just because we don't have anything built up over there. We don't have stands, nothing built. So I'm gonna just take two because he's in a pretty hurry up mode because the apple trees are blooming now. So I don't blame him. So we're gonna take the, this colony right here, which is that super package, and, uh, and this colony right here, which also has a lot of bees in it. So that's what we're gonna take over tomorrow. And here are the geese. They're noisy. It's springtime. They're noisier than ever now. But uh, we'll take them over in the morning and we'll continue the video and show you how big these orchards are over there that he's got for us to, to put our bees in. Well, we got the bees moved. Uh, last night, I closed them up. You can see the wire still on there. I got that one off. I haven't got this one off yet. The trip it has made them pretty angry. It's not that far. It's about uh, 15 miles from my house. And uh, but this is the the place that we're put them, putting them. It's like a lodge. It's huge. He's got apple orchards. You can see them right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Right there is a apple orchard. Then he's got fields of, I'm not sure what kind of flower that is, but it's just covering everywhere. And then way over here is another big orchard, huge. And there's an orchard right back here behind the lodge, right over there, you can see. So he, he there's plenty here. There's plenty here for, for bees to forage and uh, the bees have got a little bit angry for the trip and then when I pulled that wire best thing to do if you ever move the bees and I did this because I was in a hurry of course like always so once you get your bees set down give them about an hour before you take the screen off the front they are the trip makes them angry you know they're upset they're being shook around and uh, so when I pulled the screen off over there yeah they got pretty angry Several of them got me, and of course, I gotta wear my shorts and sandals, don't I? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm used to the stings, and I took a few this time. They're not always friendly. Sometimes you'll get bees that, uh, on certain occasions, and that, that's like I've said in, in the videos before, you just gotta know the right time. Our bees are general, generally very calm natured but even the sweetest nicest bees at times can be mean and angry you just got to be you just got to have enough experience to know when you can go into to your bees and then on top of that them being a very gentle natured bee also it all adds up and it helps it helps a lot but in situations like this and there's quite a few bees in here <clears throat> these are uh eight framers okay this one here was just a single but th this is the one that I did the super package in right here so I thought this would be a good candidate because I never had the opportunity before with these uh, super packages to uh, to let them forage without a lot of competition so we'll see we'll see how these do right now this is it's packed full of bees there was uh, three three pound packages in here, but some of them was a little bit weak. So there was probably seven, seven pound of bees, but there were still quite a few. So we'll see how much honey it can make. It's got a lot of opportunity here right now. As soon as these bees settle down and 
quit getting angry and they finally uh, the reorientate to their hive, which, which they're doing now. You can see them coming up and they're circling, they're looking. And once they, they'll do most of the day is probably doing that. Uh, maybe towards the end of the day, they'll finally venture out and realize what's out there. And uh, the owner, he was in desperate need really quick of getting some bees out here because there wasn't any honeybees. There's a lot out here to uh, to get pollinated, and, and the apple blooms are they're full blown right now. I was here uh, about four days ago with my friend Bill, and he was driving me around, and they wasn't they were just starting to bloom then, but now they're just they're everywhere. They're uh, they're popped out in full bloom, so these bees need to get to work as soon as possible and get on this. But if you ever get the opportunity to do something like this, then by all means, you know, take advantage of it because there's a big opportunity to make a lot of honey here, a lot of honey. And uh, I just had time to put two out here now, but when I get caught up, I'll get some more out here and he wants them spread out throughout the orchard. So I just started off here with two today. I thought, well, I'll drop these off real quick. I'm very busy. And I said, I'll, I'll promise I'll get out there and I'll bring you two hives just to get you started. And then we'll bring out some more. I'll probably put two more on this stand. And then I'll spread them out throughout the orchard and uh, try to make some honey. I wanted to show you if you had the opportunity to do such a thing like this, just uh, jump on it because uh, opportunities like this don't come around very very often where you can get this, this much pollination for your bees and it'd be good quality honey. Here's a little bit of a better shot of the lodge where we got the bees. There's a lot of land here. I think he said there's 3,800 acres and orchards all over the place from here. Now, I just come from that direction. So my bees are up by the, the house up there. And then there's this orchard here. Then there's one over here, another one here. Then you got this, these huge fields of, not sure what kind of, what's blooming here. And then they got another field that they plant canola. And I've never collected canola honey, but my friend Bill told me when he did, it's very good honey, but it, it crystallizes really fast. So if any of you have ever heard that comment, I've never, I've never done any canola honey. So, but this is just kind of another view right here of this land. And it's uh, it's absolutely a bee heaven right here. I can just show you. There's, oh, uh, you know, a lot of places you, you can only they say only put like uh, 20 colonies per per uh, you know three three uh, miles three square miles. But uh, uh, as much as this stuff has here, you know, I, I wouldn't doubt you could probably put 50 colonies without feeding them. And but the thing is though, but once that stuff starts stops blooming then you would have issues with your number of bees that you have but what while it's in bloom like this you could you could really really uh probably 50 colonies you could probably there's probably enough there for for that because this goes on for oh my goodness you know if you imagine 3800 acres and they got orchards just everywhere and uh that's a lot here's a little up closer look there's a honeybee right there already on it, but I doubt it's mine. Not that quick. It's not been an hour since I set it out. It's possible, but if you can, if I can, right up there is where I got the honeybee set. And this is one of the orchards right here. Uh, beyond that mulch pile, you can see there's another orchard right over there. And let's see, I missed one. If you can see that building over there, there's, there's an orchard over there. And this thing here itself was pretty good size, just this orchard. It goes all the way out to there and it stretches good little ways. There's, it's quite a pretty good size. Now, I'm seeing honeybees on this. It's, it's not likely it's mine yet because they're still orientating. Last thing you wanna do now is start foraging. So apparently there's some wild bees around. 
um, because there is some honeybees on here, which is a good thing. But I just thought I'd show you the orchard, or one of them, up close and just see what kind of, what I think great opportunity this is. I just, uh, chance to get out of my own yard for once and, um, uh, help somebody out. But that's about it, folks. Don't forget, please subscribe, pass along our videos. Thanks for watching. Barnard Bees.